traditional format, it can be very useful in performing some common fraud detection tests. And many of you are probably in auditing and you probably perform these tests fairly often. So let's go through four examples. So let's suppose you have a list of amounts and anything that's an even expense reimbursements and anything that's an exact even multiple of a thousand might lead to suspicion. Because I mean, how could expenses add up to exactly a thousand or two thousand? Well, you select your data. Okay, and you'll see what the formula is. We'll go through these. Whenever the formula is true, then you highlight the cell. So if you look at this, it says mod means, okay, whatever we started with A3. If what's an A3 divided by a thousand leads a remainder of zero, then we think it's a fraud. That means it's an even multiple of a thousand. And that copies down the check A4, et cetera. And that'll work. So what we would see is there's a 2,000. There's a 4,000, all multiples of 1,000 are checked. Now, another common test is the same, same, same test, okay? So basically, in this case, there's four sames. So you have an invoice ID, you have the date of the invoice, the vendor, and the amount, and you want to check for duplicate invoices. So what defines a duplicate? Well, a duplicate invoice might be if these four columns in two different rows are exactly the same. So you do a count if s based on the current rows. You see, I'm not dollar signing the five here. You start in row five. And you want to say, okay, what should you highlight? Okay, if you take column E, you want basically to match the invoice number in the current row. Okay, column F, you want to match the date in the current uh, row. Column G, you want to match the vendor in the current row. Column H, you want to match the amount in the current row. And if all four of those conditions occur more than once, then basically you want to highlight that row. So if you look at conditional formatting, we do this complicated count of S. Okay, so basically, again, you dollar sign the five through 396, so it picks up all the data, but you don't dollar sign the second five here. Okay, so if the invoice ID, again, match, uh, you want to count how many rows match the invoice ID in the current row, match the date in the current row, the vendor in the current row and the amount in the current row, if that comes out greater than one, you want to highlight it. And so we have some duplicates I made up. That 497, 920, 121, 3290, 40, that occurred twice. And then you could sort on color, find all those two duplicates on the top, and you could investigate to see if anything was wrong. Now then another formatting rule is the one-off. Okay, so uh, basically you might say all payments that are greater or equal to a thousand five thousand dollars that's a big payment and to a vendor you don't do much business with the less than equal to three payments might be a fraud so then you need an and statement so if you look at that you'd say count if in column e okay does it match uh the then you want every row that matches the vendor in the current row going down the whole column and you basically want to make sure is the payment amount greater than or equal to 5,000. Now here the vendor frequency, and so if that comes out greater than or equal to three, which is our cutoff here, and the 5,000, we can change those. Then we want to highlight every row where basically there were less than the vendor in that row occurred less than or equal to three times and the payment amount was at least 5,000. And so, For instance, I will go here. Let's say 22. Okay, so vendor 22 basically occurred only once because I just don't have many vendors here. With that, nobody with that. And vendor, oh, vendor 12. Okay, that occurred. Vendor 13. Okay, those people occurred only once, and you can see those are all highlighted. So you've got an invoice number, you have the date the invoice was submitted, the date it was paid, and then was it a weekend? And we've got the code here, okay, by using 16 here for the code, a one or a two would mean it's a weekend, Saturday or Sunday. Okay, I set up the code for that. Okay, so basically the day of the week, this is a weekend, this is not a weekend. A one or a two in column G means it's a weekend. So basically, you may want to highlight basically the three types of date relationships that might lead you to think there's a fraud. 
Okay, if you paid the invoice before the invoice date, that would be suspicious. Suspicious. If you paid it on the same day, it'd be suspicious. And if you paid it on the weekend when nobody's working, that would be suspicious. So basically, we just have three rules here. So the first rule, and you have to dollar sign the column, okay, F and E, because you want this to highlight the all four columns. So if you don't dollar sign the column, it's not going to work, but you don't dollar sign the row. So if column F, which is the payment date, is before the invoice date, you want it to be yellow. So we've got all those rules there. Okay, and if column F equals column E, you want it to be orange. And I said stop at true so you don't go on. Okay, and if the weekend column is less than equal to two, you want that highlighted in blue. So there's four really cool examples of how you can use conditional formatting to sort of operationalize some common fraud detection tests. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21 day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.